Hi to groupies, this is Mark from Groupable and in this video I'm going to be going through how funds move through your local group in particular, how you transfer monies between the controller and the treasurer and you might call the controller the secretary but it's basically the same thing. So I'm going to go through here with a slide here and illustrate how money flows through the group. So we've got a member and that member, you receive some funds from that member. They give you your dues payment or donation or something like that. And you're the controller or maybe you're called the secretary, but you fulfill that controller function. So you're going to record that receipt in the system. Then you're going to give those funds to the treasurer. And the treasurer is going to take those funds and deposit them in the bank. And we're going to cover how we do that process of documenting the transfer of the funds from the controller to the treasurer. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And when I log in, I'm going to land on my da dashboard and I'm going to go to untransferred funds here. And I already have some receipts that I have put into the system that have not been transferred to the treasurer. And so it is really really simple here review this make sure it looks right make sure this amount matches what you have we give a breakdown by account and individual we give a breakdown by payer we give a breakdown by receipt type and then the aggregate for each account of income that's accounted for in this particular transfer now I'll just say these aren't transferred yet so you can work this make sure you got everything right Make sure your amount of cash is right. Make sure your amount of checks are right. That the pays, the amounts are correct, etc. Go through this. Each one of these, I can see I've got multiple uh, different. I've got multiple pages of entries here on some of these. Quite a number. Make sure that you've got the information correct. Once you do, you go up here to the plus sign. It's going to give you all those individual line items. So let's say that there was something you weren't ready to transfer yet. You could uncheck those items and not do that particular transfer. Add those items back in. If you want to just start clean and only select the ones that you want, click, the, click this checkbox right here, clears them all out, then you can go through and actually check off the ones that you want to do. I'm actually going to go ahead and transfer everything right here. So I've got everything checked, the date that is effective, the amount I make sure that that's right I go ahead and I click transfer that creates the transfer we then display the transfer screen to you when this goes live with the finances 2.0 you will have a print button up here where you'll be able to get a print version of this so that if you need to give a hard copy to the treasurer you're able to do that along with the funds 